All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom known as America. But before we get started, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai. Double honors to our elder apostles at Great Millstone that rule well. And greens and baraka thought to all you Akim throughout the four corners of the earth that risk your lives to come teach this truth unadulterated. That's right. Yeah, man. You know, like the brother said, we out here another Saturday, you know, through Spirit Power of Yahweh Shemar Shah to prophesy against this place, man. All right? Because this place that you people call America, man, which we know as spiritually Babylon, spiritually Sodom in, in Egypt, is it's, it's on its last toe, man. It's done, man. It's finished through the spirit of poverty out by Shemel Shai. The Lord said it, man. It's done, man. It's through. All right? Your, pre your president is now Donald J. Trump, man. All right? Donald fucking Trump is your president, man. Jesus is coming. Okay? The guy, the guy that's going to bring, the guy that's going to bring such a such a strong influence on you people's downfall, man. All right? Trump is gonna bring that chip out. All right? Trump is going, Trump is, through the spirit, man, I feel like Trump going to bring that martial law, kick that martial law off, all right? Trump is going to intensify and, uh, uh, the, 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 the beef and the, uh, uh, in the ill, in the ill manner that America and Russia have against each other, man. Okay, he's going to amp up on this place, man. All right? That's right. It's 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah, man, Lord, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's why we out here every week, um, weekend, man, Lord willing. That's why we do our shows every week, man. All right? Because through the spirit of God, by Shemel Shai, going on, the U, on, on YouTube, man, on the unicorn, seeing the apostles, the apostle putting the fear on us through the spirit, man, telling us the Lord going to kill us if we don't get right, man. We, right. we see the terror of the Lord, man. You people walking up and down freely, you know, y'all get to protest freely. Pretty soon, y'all ain't gonna even have a, a fucking piece of bread to eat, man. That's right. That's right. The Lord about to make this this whole this whole uh, 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 this whole place, this whole establishment that y'all call America, which I truly and, and dearly love, is going to be it's gonna come to shit, man. That's right. Y'all right. right. not gonna have a pot to piss in, no water to drink, man, no food to eat. All right, you bitches ain't gonna have not a damn pad to fucking, fucking stop your bleeding, man. That's right. This shit gonna be horrible out here, man. Right. Thus right. saith the Bible, man. That's why we out here, man. <laughs> to persuade those, to persuade those who have the spiritual eye to see it, man. Which are the elect, man. All right. The second answer, chapter fifteen, verse fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, man. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, man. Woe is an old English word for death and destruction. Death and destruction to all you people that live here, man. That's right. That's right. For the sword and their destruction draweth near. Yeah, for the sword and, and their destruction draweth near. Your, your destruction, the destruction of America, man, it draweth nigh, man. That's right. Which way, man? What sword is the scriptures talking about? Martial law, man, is a form of a sword. All right, them, them M-Rabs that we used to talk about, man. These nukes that Russia got, man. That's right. Yeah. All that is a sword, man. And you, hey, you Americans, y'all some spoiled brats, man. Because history tells you every kingdom rises and falls. That's right. Now your kingdom is at the bottom. It's about to fall. It's not. You can come out here and rally for 24 hours straight. It's still going to fall, man. That's right. right. Yep. That's the reality of it. We're, we're the only ones that have common sense. We know it's going to fall. So we're doing what we uh, uh, do can do according to the scriptures to be saved out of it. America is doomed, man. That's right. right. Period. And not only common sense, the scriptures say America gonna fall. Because America is great Babylon, that great city Babylon. That's right. That great whore. Yep. Who's gonna spread her uh, fornication across the whole world. That's America. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, but thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. You seeing that now, man? Trump's in office. You know Trump's about to bring hell up on America, man. That's right. All right. America used to be the the, the best shining thing across the four corners of the earth, Lady Liberty and shit. Not anymore. You're in debt. You in too many fucking wars. 
So you're going down. That's right. 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 If I can say something, Obama, Trump bringing America down, Obama bought it down, Bush bought it down. Obama the one who made all the executive orders, man. So when Trump went to um, cause martial law, it was Obama who made that executive order. This second Ezra chapter 15, verse 15. For the sword and their destruction, destruction draw near, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. Yeah, man, and what people shall stand up to fight against another, man. That's that's fucking that's fucking civil discourse, man. Race riots, class riots, food riots, man. Every type of riot known to man is about to come to America, man. That's right. right. Yep. All these people protesting, they right now they unified. They want to stand together, you know. They want to stand up for feminism, for for LG, whatever that faggot shit, abortion. They want to stand up against Trump. Pretty soon, everybody's gonna be at each other's neck, man. Right. All right. Yes. And swords in their hands. Yeah, man, with swords in their hands. Any form of weapon they can make, man. Yep. Just imagine that. You were standing in a rally uh, 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 to, to, to rally against Trump. This guy you just met, he has the best sign. You got the best sign. Both of y'all rallying. Then the next fucking moment, he killing you because you got a piece of bread in your fucking pocket, man. Yep. Right. Shit about to get real harsh for you Americans, man. Yep. That's right. You better wake up to the reality and the fact that America will never be rebuilt again, man. That's right. Trump, right. Trump can never fucking make America great again. That's right. 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 Hey, the reality is America was never great. <laughs> it was founded off of rape, pillage, and robbery. That's so right. it was never great. For America to be great again, all you fucking uh, white people, you got to leave here, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Sedition, man, civil unrest, man. Right. And invading one another, man. A uh, freaking home invasion is about to amp up, man. Looting is about to amp up, man. What? They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And that, that started yesterday with the inauguration because you had protests six blocks away. They, they smashing out windows and shit. They ain't gonna regard what Trump say, man. They gonna go against this shit. That's right. Niggas ain't gonna give a fuck what Trump gotta say, what the mayor gotta say, what the governor got to say, what fucking Miami PD got to say, man. Shit, in that day, niggas ain't gonna give a fuck what the Rothschilds gotta say, man. That's right. Niggas just gonna be out here trying to feed themselves, man. Right. The nigga don't know what a Rothschild is. Yeah, you know. It's a hamburger. It's a hot dog. Is that a German, a German sausage? My bad. Niggas don't know what Rothschilds is. They don't know what a Rothschild is. Rockefeller, that's a clothing brand, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Z, 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 in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city. In the course, in the course of the power shall stand in their hands, man. That means whatever a nigga wanna do in those days, nigga gonna do it, man. Yep, that's right. Yep. All right, niggas not gonna regard shit. Hey, all you, all you, all you white people, all you white people, prepare to get trodden down by by freaking niggas, man. That's right. Niggas gonna come for your head, man. That's right. All you bitches, prepare for your fucking your your stink bloody pussies to get fucked, because in that day. Niggas not gonna regard shit. Right. Yep. You could have been on your period for months straight. All these feminists, they about to be, they about to go back to being real women, man. That's right. Yep. They about to get raped and fucking ravaged, man. That's right. right. Like the piece of fucking toys they are, man. What? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, man, a man shall regard to go into a city and shall not be able. Look at all these people here. Um, down here in Miami, man, in Bayside, man, downtown, downtown Miami, man, Bay, Bay, uh, Bayfront Village, whatever you call this shit, man. Pretty soon, man, lost his business, all over Miami, man, Homestead, Hialeah, Wynwood, North Miami, no South pitch. Miami, no pitch. all right, no uh, Star Island, Miami Beach, pretty soon, yo, wherever the fuck you at, that's where you're gonna be staying at, man. That's where you're gonna be starving at. That's where you're gonna be starving at, correction, man. <laughs> <laughs> For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, man, because of you people's pride, man. You people are so proud, you can't even realize America is about to be fucking destroyed, man. 
Wow. People without vagina. What the size said? People without vagina should not be regulating them. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I said that. Because we just read uh, 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 the course of people's power shot standing in their heads, man. So to say, man. And that day, she going to see who the fuck going to regulate her, man. It's going to be somebody with fucking rods. Ripping the shit off her clothes, man. And shoving his, shoving his rod in that bitch's throat till she gagging and choking, man. For, edif for edification for the camera, um, they got like a, a rally. You got all type of people over there. You got feminists over there. You got people who are against Trumps over there. And they got signs and they coming. Because it's the main place of concourse. This is where we're supposed to go out and preach. All these people going to be out. And they, they out here. So we, we, laugh, we, we laughing at these signs that these people got. Man, this is what we supposed to be. Why the fuck would they be out here, man? Because everybody else is out here, man. That's why they out here they trying to spread. Gone. They trying to spread their message, man. In the marketplace, man. The chief city, man. I mean, in the gates of the city. And that's exactly where we at, man. I tell you, fucking people. I tell you, fucking heathens, man. That's I'm right. talking. Starting with two thirds of my, our people, man. Right. Two thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the rest of you fucking outsiders, man. That the Lord is going to return. They going to put all you motherfuckers to death, man. That's right. right. Hold on, hold on. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and while when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand it is the same, it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, man, the scriptures tell you. So just tell us to measure the other times uh, diligently in this stuff, man. We spoke, we we in this time and we supposed to be watching our surround. We supposed to be prudent, man. Looking around, seeing the times that we in right now, man. Get that for me real quick. This is Luke chapter Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Yeah, man. Watch and pray always, man. So just like the scripture and Ezra told us we supposed to be uh, watching times diligently in itself why we watching we supposed to be praying man praying that the lord hasten these days man to come back and fuck this place up man that you may be a comfort worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass yeah man because we're going to continue to read in ezra what, what, what what's to come man and, and the brother was just bringing us second ezra what's going to happen man that's why we're supposed to be watching and praying we're supposed to be seeing oh shit America about to be destroyed, all right? It's about to be a glo global famine, okay? Ain't gonna be no water, ain't gonna be no food. You know what? Let me pray to my heaven, to my power, man. Yahweh by Hashem, I was shot. So that, so that in that day, I can have some protection, man. Right, cause like the brother brought out earlier, man, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yep. That's how, cause we can come up here and tell you, hey, you know you're an Israelite? You know, we gotta return, you know, return to your power and all that, nah. We're going to tell you, look, the most happen to destroy this shit. That's right. If you ain't right, you're going to be destroyed with it. And there ain't going right. to be no quick death, man. You're going to get tortured and mutilated by the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. That's how you persuade men. I was about to say, man, this is just modern day Babylon all over again, yep. man. All these people, they all coming together, no matter race, whatever, man. They all coming together because they're against Trump, man. The Lord is totally against that shit, bro. The Lord is not about Trump. He's about his words, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, if you for America, you against the Lord. Right. If you for um, LGBT, you against the Lord. If you for fucking feminism, you against the Lord. That's why the Lord finna destroy all y'all fuck asses. That's right. That's right. And guess what? A lot of them people, some of them might be uh, anti-LGBT or pro-LGBT, and the next person be against abortion, and that other person for abortion, but they, they come... That's, that's com fucking confusion, man. That's hands on the hand. Right. And, and that just show you these people have they how little how little these fucking idiots are, man. What the fuck, man? These things can't even stand up for their own fucking shit. If you're a fucking queer, why you why you fucking stand in the same place where people that don't fuck with queers are, man? You're supposed to be standing up for your queerness, right? You fucking retards, man. That's right. Go ahead, I'll finish it. Nasty one. God. Verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Yeah, hey, when you shall see earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. 
the world, man. Hey, are not these Americans in an uproar because Trump in office, man? Are not, are not the fucking people in the Middle East in an uproar because all those drones that was bombing them, man? There's people protesting Trump all over the world right now, man. I've been all over the fucking world, in, in Europe, South America, Asia, Africa. Pacific Islands, all over, man. Verse 4, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Hey, you see, Lord willing, we part at 144, man. Through the spirit power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, we understand, man. We understand. We see it. We're like, wow, man. This is what the Lord was talking about in these scriptures, man, with the prophets, where all the prophets used to talk, talk about what they was prophesying about. We in those times right now, man. We see it. The most high is around the corner. That's how we that's how we able to tell you people the Lord's around the corner, man.